All right, out here nice and early. My favorite time of the day to be out here. I love being out here early. So I'm fishing an area that I've really never thrown topwaters here, but I know there's some fish. Topwaters, you gotta try to keep them from, from jumping because they will throw that plug. Oh, it's a nice one. Boy, you gotta be careful with them hooks flying around. There we go. I knew there'd be a fish over here. somewhere. Oops. Man, that's, that's a three pounder to, to start off. Beautiful fish. Hope it's light enough for you to see it. Beautiful fish. On the top water. Top water was slow, so I switched over to my new hair jig. Another nice spot. Fishing is kind of slow. There we go. Don't you jump. Of course he jumps. Not a big one, but I'll take what I can get. Hey, come on now. A fat little guy. Finding fish is going to be tough.
hit it, missed it, came back and got it. Ooh, it's a good one too. Nice, I don't know, two, two and a half pounds. Nice spot. I'm throwing my hair jig. Uh, fishing is slow uh, right now, today, for whatever reason. So I'm having to just finesse the heck out of them. I saw a school of fish on this point. but they have been tough to catch. When they're biting, it's just, just you just barely feel it, which tells me they're not very turned on. That's why I, I like a good sensitive rod. I don't, when it comes to throwing these hair jigs, I like a good sensitive rod. My boat's setting in about 24 feet of water. I'm casting into about 15. So knowing that the fish are, are not, you know, not really turned on, I'm making, I'm spending a little time on this point. I know there's some fish here. So again, just a tiny little jig. This is a, it's a tough day. They're not, they're not really uh, actively feeding. So the reason I'm throwing this jig, first of all, I saw some bait fish being chased that were just, just, you know, I think they're the newly hatched bait fish. So this kind of matches them. Plus, even if they're not hungry, you know, it's kind of like someone putting a piece of chocolate in front of you or a potato chip. Even if you're not hungry, chances are you're going to eat it. That's kind of what I'm doing for the fish here, just a, dropping this right in front of their nose, making it look like a nice little snack. That's what I'm seeing on my fish finder. There's a big school of bait, some fish around it. My little jig. Uh, the reason I'm throwing it because I only caught one topwater fish, and I did see some small bait fish, you know, coming out of the water being chased, and I think this uh, matches it pretty good. So I know they're not really turned on. So finesse. I'm a finesse fisherman anyway. light line, small lures. Should be a, oh, ah, darn it. They're not, they're just not, not biting it right. Oh, there he is. I knew I got bit. He, he hit it, missed it and came back. Don't jump. Ooh, this might be a good one here. And, oh boy, it's a big fish. Man, he's just bulldogging me. I mean, that, he's a little thin, but that's a long fish. 
That's two and a half, three pounds probably. Nice fish. Just, I mean, just barely felt him bite it. My guess is there's going to be a couple more on this point. Uh, I'm on the north north part of Lake Lanier in a creek. And this point here, everybody flies by at 100 miles an hour with their bass boats and these fish just get passed up. Which is good for me. More fish for me. Man, I love catching them this way. There's nothing like feeling them hit that jig. Even though the last few fish, they just, just barely ticked it. It is not easy fishing. Got to be more than one. Right, right after that boat zip, zoomed right through there. Ooh, it's another good one. <laughs> I just love it. Get my net ready. Come on now. Kind of lucky I landed that one. I have to work on my net network a little bit there. Little tiny jig. Nice big spot. I mean that's probably two, two pounds. Not nice fish. can't tell you how much fun that is. I knew there'd be another and I, I'm I'll be shocked if I don't catch another one. My boat's setting in 28 feet of water and I'm casting into about, I don't know, 16 to, I don't know, it's probably 16 to 20 feet deep where I'm casting. At this, this point, it's a major bend in this creek channel and this point uh, goes out quite a ways. And these fish, you know, after they spawn, they'll, they'll, you know, head out to these points and either just hang out and recover from the spawn or they'll, you know, they'll wait for a school of bait fish to go by and then they'll feed. But even if they're not active, they, you know, they got this little jig bounced right in front of their nose, they're going to eat it. They are just barely, barely nipping it when I, it's only 9, 9 a.m. That was really the first boat I've seen. Boy, that fish was in 25 feet, probably, and I think it's a good one. Boy. Oh, man, that 
might be a striper. Oh no, it's a, it's a giant spot. Don't, don't you head for that trolling motor. That fish is four plus right there. Uh, that's a big one. I don't know if, if the camera is going to show it, but there's a crawdad tentacle coming out of his gullet right down his throat there. That's a big one. I don't want to take the time to weigh it. That's a good one. That's a good fish. Huh? <laughs> that's a big one. Nice big belly. Wow. <laughs> Man, I love it. Caught that fish out of deep water. Man, that's, <laughs> I can't tell you how fun that is. So my boat's setting in 30 feet right now and I'm casting up into about 25. This point, you know, as it gets farther off the bank, you know, it just, it gets deeper and deeper. That's three I've caught sitting on this, this one point, which is good. I don't have to burn any gas. Fuel is getting ridiculous. It's, uh, getting hard to afford to come out very often. Man, I like catching those deep fish. <laughs> now, if I, on a day like today, if I'd be out here throwing traditional spinner bait or, you know, the larger bass lures, I wouldn't catch, I wouldn't have caught any of those fish. Man, three nice ones. I can't tell you how much that excites me. I just love it. Interestingly, my fish finder shows no bait, no fish, nothing. I just know on these deep points there's fish. There, there always is. All right, a few more casts. There will be no fish left behind. I'm uh, making sure. Making sure there's nothing, nothing else willing to bite on here. All right, thanks for tuning in. Not bad for a, I just fished for, I don't know, three hours maybe. Uh, starting to get hot. I'm gonna have to go to work this afternoon. So uh, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the uh, notification bell. It helps, it helps my channel. Um, but thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Come back and fish with me next time.